again, everybody. It's your old pal, the history nerd, and I am finally back in the man cave after a long hiatus. I hope that you missed me as much as I missed you. And now that we have all of that sentimental grab ass out of the way, in this video, we are going to unbox and review the Stetson Powder River Western hat that a highly trained and accomplished delivery driver placed ever so gently upon my doorstep this afternoon with great grace and agility. So let's quit farting around and let's get started. Now, uh, over the past couple of months, I have gotten lots of messages from some of you viewers who, for some reason, like this channel, and you said, hey, history nerd, what gives? Why have you not done any videos? Well, when you have a channel that's largely known for reviewing hats and boots, you have to buy a crap ton of hats and boots. And quite frankly, uh, a, it's hard to find hats in the giant seven and three quarter size that my enormous noggin requires. And B, good Lord people, how many hats and boots do y'all expect me to order? But uh, after Googling around, I finally found this uh, Stetson Powder River um, on Amazon. It was $159 uh, with two-day free shipping. Uh, when the hat arrived, it did not arrive from Amazon, but rather it came from a company called Outland USA, which I have ordered from before. I ordered my Stetson Marshall from Outland, and they give really good customer service. And as a matter of fact, uh, after I bought the hat, off Amazon in my seven and three quarter size uh, and realized it was coming from Outland. I went to the Outland website. They were out of the seven and three quarters size. So if you can't find your size on Outland, go check Amazon and see if you can find it there. Now, we are going to open this Powder River hat. You may ask yourself, history nerd, where in the blue hell is the Powder River located? Well, let me tell you, uh, not only am I a geography expert, I know how to use Wikipedia. And I can tell you that the Powder River is a tributary that runs through Montana and Wyoming, and it feeds into the Yellowstone River. Uh, interesting fact is, one of the creeks that feeds into the Powder River is called as God is my witness, Crazy Woman Creek. Uh, apparently that creek is named after a gal that I dated back in college when I was skinny, young, and virile like bull. But we're not here to talk about my college girlfriend who was nuttier than squirrel poop. We're here to talk about this hat and why it's named the Powder River. So why did Stetson name a hat after a little known river in Wyoming and Montana. Well, this hat is part of the Stetson Buffalo Collection. And if any two states in the United States are known for their population of Buffalo, it's Montana and Wyoming. Uh, now, before we get too far down the road, let me say it's a misnomer to call what we have here in the United States buffalo. They're actually bison. Uh, buffalo are in Asia and Africa. Water buffaloes, those are buffaloes. What we have here in the United States is bison. But Stetson calls it the buffalo collection. We call it buffalo nickels too. I mean the names are interchangeable, but what we have here are bison. Now the reason they call it the buffalo collection, this is a 4X hat. And uh, as I've said many times before, anything Stetson makes today that's below a 6X is not a fur felt hat. It is a wool hat. 
Uh, some folks have in the past said, hey, I've got a Stetson hat from the 80s. It says 4X, it says beaver fur. Yeah, that was then. This is now. There is no federal agency that regulates the X scale of Western hats. Each company has their own X scale, X scale and they change it whenever they want to. Um, Stetson today, if you buy 4X hat, they call it Buffalo fur on the website, but this is actually Buffalo wool. Um, buffaloes don't really have fur, they have wool that they shed once a year. And when buffalo shed their wool, they shed 10 to 12 pounds of wool, which is why a 4X hat is so much cheaper than a 6X beaver fur hat. Think about you get a little handful of fur from a beaver, but a bison, you get 10 to 12 pounds of wool that you can use to make hats. It's a lot harder to get beaver fur to make hats than it is to get bison or buffalo fur to make these hats. Now, buffalo fur, buffalo wool is tough, but soft. And the micron of measurement of the fibers is similar to fine cashmere. So when I say this is a 4X hat, don't get your panties in a wad and think I'm dissing 4X hats. My favorite hat, the hat that I wear more often than any other hat in my collection, is the Stetson 4X Marshall hat, which is a wool hat. Now, why is that my favorite hat? Well, whenever I wear that hat, people bother me all the time because I look just like Timothy Oliphant from the TV show Justified. And whenever I wear that hat, people gather around me wanting autographs and photos. And I have to, I have to explain to them, I am not Timothy Oliphant, but the Marshall is a great hat. I have two videos on my channel about the Stetson Marshall. They're very hard to find. The hat's very hard to find now, but if you've not seen those videos yet, go take a look at them. I will put them down in the description. So anyway, the Powder River hat named after the river in Montana and Wyoming, part of the Stetson Buffalo collection. Um, uh, it is a Buffalo fur hat. The crown on this hat is four and five eighths inches tall. Uh, it's got a cattleman crease in the hat. Uh, it's got a four inch brim, which is shaped into what I think is a rancher shape. Um, Stetson says that the uh, hat band is, I'm gonna take this off. This is the little Buffalo collection uh, sticker that comes on, uh, uh, flyer that comes on here. By the way, uh, a lot of Stetson's less expensive hats, the four X and below do not come in a box. You buy them directly off the shelf or they'll just ship it to you in, reg in a regular shipping box. The good thing about the Powder River is it comes in an actual Stetson box. And if you're like me, I store all of my Stetson hats in my closet in the original Stetson box. So the fact that this $159 hat comes in an actual Stetson box is a big plus in my book. So Stetson describes the hat band as hair on uh, leather. It doesn't say what kind of hair. I'm assuming it's horse hair. I'm hoping it's not human hair, but they say it's hair on leather. They say that the hat band has antique gold conchos on it, which it's like little little pieces of jewelry looking stuff. They call it antique gold concha. They call the color of this hat, y'all, this hat's brown, right? It's a brown hat. Look at it, it's brown. They call it mink, 
just call it brown. It's not even really a mink brown. It, it's a dirt brown. Call it a dirt brown hat. But anyway, Stetson calls this color mink. But we'll go back to the hat band. The hat band has the antique gold conchos on it. And on the side, it has a Stetson pin with a little teeny buffalo slash bison on the side. All right, we will flip it over. The uh, inside of the hat is, uh, has a leather sweatband. It's a genuine leather sweatband. Uh, you can feel it and tell that. It's not pleather, it's not naugahyde. Uh, it's not made out of an old Lazy Boy recliner. It is a genuine leather uh, sweatband. It says Stetson 4X Buffalo on the inside. Uh, this side says uh, American Buffalo Collection Stetson made in the USA. Uh, there's this little sticker that they always put in these hats that uh, some of these say, oh, uh, this, this one has the warning. The state of California makes Stetson put out a, put a, a, a disclaimer inside their hats that says warning. This hat can cause cancer and reproductive harm. Now, nothing against the state of California, but how in the blue hell are you going to get cancer or not be able to have babies because you wear a damn cowboy hat on your head? But anyway, that's a, that's a rant for another day. But anyway, there's the California disclaimer that goes inside. Um, and then it's got a satin liner with a Stetson logo and what looks like a Stetson brand on the inside. Um, you know, that's it, folks. I mean, this is kind of a short video. My first one back, it's kind of a short video. Uh, there's not a lot of history behind this hat other than telling y'all about the Powder River. Now, what I always do uh, after I walk you through the hat, and it really is a good looking hat. I'm not crazy about the hat band. I may change the hat band. It's a little too hipsterish looking to me. I might feel like Tom, Tom Laughlin in the movie Billy Jack if I walk around with this hat band on. I may go with just brown leather or something else. It's a little, little hipster looking hat band for me, but it is a good looking hat. And uh, I always try on the hat after I unbox it. Um, again, as I've said many times before, I cannot see uh, myself in this setup. So when I put this hat on, you will see what I look like before I see what I look like. So let me uh, move the hat stand here. Uh, we'll get the hat and we will put it on. Fits pretty good. There you go, folks. That is the Stetson Powder River. Uh, you, saw, you saw me unbox it. I haven't really worn this hat really at all other than now, but I can tell you that uh, I'm happy with this purchase for 159 bucks. This quality of a hat, good looking hat, mm, kind of funky uh, hipster looking hat band, but good looking hat with a Stetson box for $159. I think it's a good buy. I can already tell I'm going to like this hat. I am hoping beyond, beyond hope because I can't see myself that right now I do not look as dumb as Cletus from the Dukes of Hazard in this hat. But if I do, you know, I'll just live with it. Um, uh, I think the uh, Stetson Powder River is a good buy at 159 bucks. It's something you need to look at, look on Amazon, or as I said, this one got shipped to me from Outland USA. Go check out their website. Of course, the Stetson website has it too. So let me say at this point that again, it's good to be back, folks. If you liked this video uh, and the other videos on my channel and want to see more like them, do three things for me. Give me the Fonzie, Fonzie thumbs up, a hey, hit subscribe, and then ring that bell. So the next time I fire up the old YouTube gizmo, you will be among the first to know. 
Uh, again, this is a short video, but I am going to close it as I close all of my videos by saying, uh, be good, uh, be well, be happy, and please, friends, always remember that Smokey's got his ears on, and he's hot on your trail, and he ain't gonna rest till you're in jail. So until the next time we see each other, goodbye, my friends, and God bless each and every one of you. History.